Hello and welcome to Beyond Borders Briefing. In this video, we'll be discussing the bizarre video statement released by the dad and stepmom of Sarah Sharif, a 10-year-old girl who was found dead in her home in Woking, Surrey, on August 10. Sarah Sharif's death shocked the nation, as she was discovered with multiple and extensive injuries that suggested a violent assault. Her father Irfan Sharif, his partner Bay Nash Batul, and his brother Faisal Malik fled to Pakistan the day before her body was found, and have been wanted by Surrey police ever since. In a surprising move, the couple sent a video to Sky News and BBC News on Monday, in what is their first public contact since Sarah's death. In the low-quality footage, Irfan Sharif does not speak at all, while Bainash Batul reads from a notebook in Urdu. The video statement is strange and disturbing, as it barely mentions Sarah or expresses any grief or remorse for her death. Instead, it focuses on accusing the Pakistan police of harassing and torturing their relatives, and claiming that they are hiding because they fear for their lives. Bainash Batul describes Sarah's death as an incident, and says that they are willing to cooperate with the UK authorities to fight their case. She does not explain how they plan to do so, or where they are currently located. The video raises more questions than answers, and has been met with skepticism and outrage by the public and the authorities. The BBC was unable to verify the couple's account or the conditions under which the video was filmed. The Pakistan police have denied any wrongdoing or involvement in the case. Surrey police have issued a statement in response to the video, saying that they are aware of it and are working with international partners to locate and detain the suspects. They have also reiterated their appeal for anyone with information about Sarah's death or the whereabouts of the suspects to contact them immediately. This is a developing story, and we'll keep you updated as more details emerge. Stay tuned for more crime news and analysis on this channel, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.